guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, ah, 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 a lot of arm action today. Today's video is going to be, oh my God, it is like pretty much the end of our series. <sighs> Trying the Kardashian slash Jenner's clothing. Dun, 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 dun. So we probably will have one more video. You guys requested that I buy Scott Disney's clothes for Tyler. I'm probably gonna surprise him and do that and not let him know and then like, yeah. So I'll probably do that in the near future. In that video, I will be selling the clothing that I bought throughout the series off for charity. And we'll talk more about that in our final video. So this is kind of our final video. This is like our final video with me. And if you guys haven't watched the other series, we have done Kim, Kylie, Kendall, Courtney, Chloe, and now we are on to Chris. The really exciting thing about Chris's clothes is I don't think I bought anything with the tag. They're all used. So we will be doing further investigation to see the tea on Miss Chris Jenner, the mother of the malls used clothing. Also quick side note, if you're like, what is up with her makeup today? I have no face makeup on. I mean, you can see my dark circles and all that good stuff. So my makeup looks a little off to you. It's because I simply don't have on face makeup. <laughs> and I don't have that on because I got a facial earlier today and they just recommend like let the serum seep in for a day. So I only did my eyes and lips and I'm letting serums seep in. <laughs> this may sound crazy, but that's what's happening. That's why I'm not wearing face makeup, but yeah, that's the tea on that. Anyways, be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave if you wanna join the fam jam over here. I will also link all the other sisters videos down below if you wanna watch that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The infamous white box. Oh my gosh, I have it here. I've cut it open so we can save time on me doing that. And I actually ordered the most stuff from Chris. So I think we have five items. Woo! So here we have her clothing. This box is really heavy compared to the other ones. I'm like, what did I buy? Chris Jenner has like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on her site. By the way, I got it off KardashianCloset.com. If you guys want to check it out, I always link it down below. All the sisters sell their used clothing. It's pretty crazy. We have conspiracies that they sell PR. Sometimes they sell because they sell new stuff. But all Chris's, I pretty much bought used. So let me let me first pull up the prices because that's where it gets interesting every time. All right, I have my list of items that I bought from Miss Kris Jenner. First item right here. We're opening it up. I'm really excited. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set the box down. So as most of you know, it comes wrapped like this. We're gonna open it up. Ooh, by the way, I also wanted you guys, if you guys know any more celebrities, I try to poke around, but I didn't really see. But a lot of celebrities do sell their items. I would love to continue the series in that way by purchasing the items from different people outside of the Kardashian Jenners. So if you guys know of any, DM me, tweet me, leave a comment down below, reach me, call me, beat me. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm opening is, what is this? What did I buy? Whatever it is, it looks beautiful, but I don't know what it is. Look at this, is this a gown? Is this like a top? Did I just buy a gown? What is this? What did I buy? I paid $250 for a Lisa Marie Fernandez cover up dress in the size medium. So this was 250 bucks. It doesn't have the tags, but it does look pretty much new. I see a little bit of wear right here. It looks like it's split right there. There, some loose fabric so I do think this was worn it is so beautiful oh my gosh I don't even really know how it goes I can't wait to try this on and totally put it on there's like a lot of moving parts here okay can't wait to put this on it completely wrong it looks like I go um, oh my gosh this dress is so gorgeous I want to take some pictures in it <laughs> some type of dress you know I don't really know I think it goes like this and then like this is the back it's beautiful. It's honestly one of my favorite colors. You guys know I love the neutrals, so I think the dress is beautiful. You can always tell if something's been worn by looking at the bottom of it, and sure enough, you'll get close-up shots in just a second. Of course, I'll try it on. But sure enough, there is some staining or just some really minute, tiny, tiny, tiny <gasps> marks. Chris wore this. You guys have to find these pictures. Chris definitely wore this. You guys, there is a whole ass like water Oh, can you see right there? The water spill. It looks like a drink she stepped in maybe. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll do a close up of this spill. I'm tripping out because look at that. Do you guys see the marking right here of the water? So this was definitely worn by Chris. Kind of a fan girl. I'm a fan of Chris. You know, I think she's 
the brains behind the whole operation. I kind of met her at Kim's event whenever she came out with her contour sticks. It was her first launch with KKW Beauty. And I met Chris because Chris was at her house at the event. So we all kind of met her there and she was super, super sweet. Really, really beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the next item. It is all wrapped up as per usual. So I did buy an item with the tags. I didn't think I did. This is by Floral de Mall, and it is a black shorts. I'm like, I don't know what they are. Okay, so I got these because I wanted to try different things, and so yeah, these are them. They look like they're in perfect condition. I don't see any spills, I don't see any hairs, I don't see anything weird. Let's see how much I paid for these little black shorts. 125 bucks for biker shorts. I am not okay. <laughs> but they did say they did come with the tags, okay? So it looks like I did buy one thing with the tags and I just forgot. They feel like super heavy. It's weird. I think the brand is just super luxe and uses really heavy um, material, but these literally feel heavy. Is that not weird? Like super heavy, but I can't wait to try them on. They look really nice. We'll see what they look like on my tush. All right, moving right along, we have the next item. Ooh, okay, you guys know Chris likes to wear like suits a lot. She likes to wear button downs a lot and like pants suits, but really fancy ones. Sometimes Chris Jenner reminds me a little bit of Moira Rose off of Schitt's Creek, like in the best way. Who are those voices? Uh, your children? Mara Rose is like my favorite character on that show, by the way. And I watched like the behind the scenes and apparently they allotted a big budget because like all of her outfits were really designer on Schitt's Creek. Okay, we're going on a rabbit trail. So then I bought this plain button down, but I bought it because Chris wears a lot of button downs and I figured she had worn this before and I thought it'd be kind of cool. So the brand of this one is called Equipment. It's a size medium. Let's see what I paid for it. Whew, I'm nervous. What did I pay? $75, not the end of the world. I think this is my cheapest item. Actually, I got one more item for the same price, but it does have like a makeup mark right here on it. We'll get a close up of that. It looks like it's been freshly washed and it feels like it's been pressed. I can like see the folding lines where it's been pressed. I will say it's been worn a few times because the little tag on the inside right here is kind of worn where it's been in the washer a bunch. So it looks like this is a shirt that she liked and also the collar. I don't know if you guys can tell. We'll get that close up for you. But it has some darkness right here at the fold where it looks like. She definitely wore this white button down shirt. I can imagine it was very useful. I actually use white button down shirts all the time and I wear them open and, and I love them. Like I love them. I share that love with Miss Kris Jenner. This is definitely one of her worn, one of her worn famous white button down shirts. I have it right here. I don't know how we feel about that. We may feel no way about that, but uh, just want you to know I have it. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, kinda. <laughs> Next, ooh, wow. I bought Kris Jenner's pants and I bought these, did I buy these? I don't even remember if I bought these. Did I even buy these? I'm pretty sure I did. I did, they're called James Paris pants. They were $75, so this is the other item that I bought for 75. And they are a size large. I did buy different size things um, because I am gonna sell it for charity, so I figure, you know, some medium, some small, and some large items would be nice, because that's what they were offering. It says they're a size four. Um, it still has a little string in it from where the tag was, so I'm gonna pull that out. So I have to wonder if she just popped the tags on these, or did she actually wear them? They don't really look, actually, yeah, they do look kind of worn. Let's check the legs. I feel so strange, but at this point in the series, do I really feel that strange? Probably not. I just don't get the worn vibes off of these. You know, there's always a vibe there and I don't get the worn vibe here. So kind of think that she just popped the tags on them, kept them in her closet, never wore them and sold them. But here they are. I think they're really pretty. They're actually linen pants and they have a stretch waist to them. So hello comfort and yeah. Here's what the bottom looks like right there. They look nice. They honestly look brand new. They were 75 bucks. I'm sure this brand, the prices range around that price. So I feel like that was a pretty normal sell. So we have, it looks like one more item in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and check on and see how much we paid. I'm really confused. Okay, looks like the first dress, I got things mixed up, okay? Things get a little hairy for us and we got mixed up. The first dress that I held up in the video is actually a Lisa Brown dress. 
I bought two dresses. They look kind of similar in the picture. Not really, maybe I'm an idiot, I don't know. But I paid $195 for the first dress, which was fabulous. Beautiful, has a water stain, it's fine. Then the Lisa Marie. So we have a Lisa Brown and a Lisa Marie Fernandez. There's a lot of Lisas and a lot of confusion. So the dress I'm about to hold up was 250. It was the actual dress that I paid the most for out of everything. So let's hold it up and see the tea. This is what it's like to live with me. It's not fun. Here is our last dress. So it, it too is like a flowy ivory dress. So you can see my confusion. And both the brand names are Lisa. Lisa Mar Marie Fernandez. Ooh, wow. This dress is like a robe. It's a cover up actually. So it's like a cover up dress. So I guess it's not even a dress, more of a cover up. This is probably like the most luck. Look at this. This thing is also extremely heavy. He heavy. Lots of fabric happening here. My goodness, it looks so beautiful. Like this is definitely something I could see myself. Probably would pay 250 for a cover up, you know? But I mean, hello, she's Kris Jenner, what do you think? But it is like honestly one of the most fabulous cover-ups. I can't wait to try it on. I'm gonna be dancing in this thing. It looks really, really, really nice. I also love the sleeves. Look at them, how they like droop, the ruffles. Ugh, it's so beautiful. How did she even sell this, you crazy? She probably has 10 million cover-ups though. But I'm just looking at it and it looks cleaned. I have a feeling Miss Jenner gets her stuff really cleaned. It says it's a size three. I don't see any markings on it and it is a white linen, so I'm surprised I don't see any markings on it. But yeah, it looks like it's in like mint condition. So pretty exciting stuff there. Wow, so that is all of the pieces. Okay guys, here are the pants, the linen pants. Like I said, they look like they're in really great condition. I really don't see any markings. I feel like there's like a mark here, like a darkness, but I think it's like the lighting, I don't know. I just don't know if they're worn. I kind of don't think they were. This is what they look like and they are really, really nice. So I think they're pretty, they're pretty much like new. All her stuff was in really good condition, but not Miss Chloe's. Miss Chloe's was a different story. Okay, I really, 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 really wish these yeah. pants were my size because they are so cute. These Is that linen? Oh, it's linen, honey. Oh, we all know she's obsessed. She loves I linen. I love linen. Look at these pants. I have them pinned, but my gosh, Girl. they're cute. Ooh. We love it. We love the pockets. We love everything. Too bad. Oh my God. Well, too bad. well yeah, I just. Too I, bad they don't fit, I man. Know. So funny. girl, just pin them in the back and just wear a long shirt over For it. For real, you're They're good. So cute. I Might love as well. Them. Well, I'm gonna add these in the charity bit, and whoever gets them, I hope you really enjoy them because they are the bomb. I think they're so cute, really comfortable, and I like linen because it's lightweight and you never get too hot. Okay, guys, this is the equipment button down tee. Do you guys see? The little bit of darkness that I was talking about. And then, yeah, this is the shirt. I actually didn't notice this marking whenever we were talking about it, but you guys see a little yellow stain right here. I feel like she wore this multiple times for sure. But you can tell she had it cleaned and pressed before she sent. Honestly, I don't think people even notice when their clothing has little marks on it. But, I mean, it does look like it's in good condition. But it was definitely worn a few times by Miss Chris. Okay, this is, this maybe me being just like crazy, but this is like the softest feeling cotton I've ever felt. Oh, it is soft. It's weirdly it's soft. soft. Like it doesn't feel like a stiff cotton Dang. shirt. Like rub it. God, I wouldn't even mind wearing this. I and know. I would like never see myself wearing something like this, this but like, it's soft. This brand must be great. I don't own anything from this brand, but the cotton is just so crazy soft. I can see why. The shirt was worn a lot and loved. Erin, look, there was a stain. Oh, no way. Right there, you see <gasps> it? You see the yellow? Well, the camera can't see it, but yeah. I can. You see that? Kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Chris probably did like so many crazy big meetings and like signed deals, helped Kim start skims, <laughs> signed the contract for Kylie, Kylie Jenner Cosmetics in this shirt. Like I'm pretty sure. She's 100% sure. I am. By pretty sure I mean 100%. <laughs> but it's cute. I like the shirt. It's pretty cute. 
That's how I like to wear them too, kind of like this. Open with some jeans or something. That would look nice. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay, guys, here we have the cover up by Lisa Marie Fernandez. There is the tag. This also was in really good condition. I didn't really notice any markings. And it also came with this belt I didn't show you guys in the original video. Um, I think it literally fell on the floor because it was under my chair when I was picking anything up. I think the weight of the balls, by the these are metal. <laughs> Dude. Hello, I'd be scared to wear these, like swap myself. But anyways, I think it caused it to fall. Yeah, it, it's so nice and beautiful. I can't believe she gave this up, but really love this piece. And yeah, it's in like the best condition, which I'm all about. No markings at all. Girl, she looks like a pirate <laughs> up front and then it looks like she's trying to be God down below. <laughs> It, it, it's just what it looks Why like. Are, I look like a founding father. Yes, you look like a founding father, a pirate, and God all mixed together. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> you cannot call it cute. I mean, it's cute. It's just, it gives me those vibes also. Okay. Okay, so, I see. I see how it is. I'm not going to hate. Look at these. Aaron at first noticed these, didn't you? Yes. Like, and I was slinging them, and baby, it could break the computer. <laughs> Oh God, those little metal pieces. Yeah, I was don't be full. Shook, like honestly. But oh, what about the back? Do I like a cascading mermaid? Um, uh, you could say that. So, final thoughts. I think it's pretty. I don't know if it's for me. I thought it was a little bit more for me. Now I'm thinking it's a little less for me. Um, I think it's more of an Aaron item. So me, <laughs> me, you, me, you. I think you got the wrong person. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So this is it. What do you guys think? They think you're a pirate. So guys, this is the dress. Like I said, it looked like it had been worn through here. Just some loose unraveling. And then I went ahead and pulled the bottom up. So <laughs> I think this one missed the cleaners because it has the... This is the bottom of the dress, by the way. I have it lifted up. But there was also a little hair. I just left it there. <laughs> I don't think that's mine. It could be, but who knows? This looks like an eyelash, but looks like the dress, like the trail of the dress went through something wet. And so, gosh, the dress is so beautiful though, but I think it missed the cleaner. So whatever Chris was into that night, what was it? <laughs> you gonna put it on? Yeah, I'm gonna try it on now. Okay, Girl. it took me and Aaron a really long, like too long, honestly, like too long. To figure out how to put this dress we on. We try to put my head So we here. thought this like went over and then that was the back. We thought this was the front at one point. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it's just really low on the boobies. We were like, there's no way. And then, yeah, we tried to put my head through this hole. And, too small. And I have a small head, so I was like, that can't be right. And then it came to us. The okay. two strings hanging on the side, you tie it. So this is what it looks like. It's actually gorgeous. I love it. It is. Color. It is really pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's like you a little beach moment. Yeah, I feel very beachy. Let's show them back. This is my special little bow tie right here. Aaron hooked me up with that. Uh -huh. And then I do have shorts on because literally my butt cracks right here. Girl. It is so Show low, that booty. So low cut. So I don't know if I wear this out. Because I'd be scared my butt would be out, but yeah, it is so beautiful, honestly. It is. It's really long on you. It is long, so I think Chris might be a little bit taller than me. She must be. But I think the dress sure. overall is sturdy. 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 <laughs> okay, guys. Here are, I swear to God, someone's vacuuming every video I film. You guys are like, do you guys just vacuum your house 24-7? We do. I'm just kidding. So here are the biker shorts. Um, this is what they look like. They had the tags on them, so I'm assuming they're not worn and they look brand new. It's weird. It's like a knit material. It's not like a spandexy material. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're like knit. So it's like a strange. These are not like biker shorts for biking. I think they're biker shorts for looking cute, I think. But these are them. I think they're real cute, though. We're going to try them on. <laughs> okay, guys. We have the biker shorts on. They're, they're strange material. Aaron and Phil, they're like knit, not like... This is so weird, but they're kind of nice. Yeah, they feel really nice. I don't like how long they are, though. They're pretty long. They're... They're like down to the knee. Yeah. Like extra long. Whoa! Wow. But they're really cute. I don't know. I like them. I have mixed feelings. Oh, look at the booty. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're interesting. I will say that. Yeah, they're really interesting. For a breather. For, For a breather. breather biking shorts. 
But this is it. By the way, Erin said I look like a Tim Burton character without foundation or concealer. It's just because underneath her eyes. But you know, you still look good. We love eye bags. We do! Erin! You don't even have bags. It's just dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys pirate laura here that is it for this video thank you guys so much for being here and watching thank you guys for being here and watching be sure and hit the subscribe button before you leave and sayonara to our kardashian jenner series i'm so sad it's over but we may have more in the future and i love you guys and i hope to see you all in my next video